hello guys welcome back to our database to excel demo the last one we did was to was to export data from database into um, excel file so for example we have data in a you know a database uh, maybe like customers information and uh, we want to export that data to the to excel file to uh, that was the tutorial we the last demo we had in case you have not watched that video i dropped the link below um, this video just check below this video there's a link there that we will lead you to the video so please just try to i, I really encourage you uh, to watch that video so you can really see what we did in that video and in this video we are going to see how to import data from excel to database so assuming we have um we have excel sheet like this excel workbook like this and we have customers information like this in our excel and we're asked we have we've given a task to import this data into a um, database such as sql or uh, microsoft um, uh, 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 sql or any of the databases but in this tutorial we're going to we're going to be using my sql we're going to import this excel data into my sql using spring boot um so um for this, I'm just going to quickly go to IntelliJ and create a new a new project. Um, in case you are not using IntelliJ, you can easily go to Google and just type in Spring um, Spring Starter, right? So when you type in Spring Starter and you hit Enter, so you just follow this link. You see this link called Spring um, Initializer. So when you click on this, it's going to take you to um, the spring.io website where you can create a new a brand new spring boot project so like this assuming i want to make use of this i can just choose because i want to use maven right so i can just choose maven project and this one is on java already and what i'm just gonna do is to change the group id um the, the name of the application the artifact the artifact name which is the name of the application and here you you select the dependencies you need for example if i need a lombok i just select lombok and i come here again and I, I need this i select this i come here again anyone that is not here i can just quickly search from here and for example like spring um data jpa here i can just have this so here you can actually create a brand new spring boot project and imp and export to and open to in IntelliJ uh, as your project. But I, I am not going to do this. I'm going to create my project directly from IntelliJ. So for that, I'm going to go to um, the project, new project, and um, go here. So here we have the name of the project. So what is the name of this project? I'm just going to give the name of this project as Excel. Excel, Excel to to database because we're going to expel we're going to import data from excel to um, database right so the name of the project is going to be excel to database and i'm just going to leave everything on default but i'm going to change this here to my id right so here i'm going to just put this as com dot com dot daily 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 code daily code work right so this one is my id and this is the name of the artifact and this is the name of the package so the name of the package consists of the name the project name and uh, the group id so i'm just going to leave here on java 17 and click next okay um there's a project existing with the same name in that uh, directory so what i'm going to do here i'm going to change this to two number two right excel to database right so i'm going to click next so this one will allow us to go and here i'm going to choose a few dependencies the one the first one i'm going to choose is lombok lombok will help us to so to get rid of um boilerplate code you know like getter setters to string and um, every other ones that we don't need to write with hand and um, having chosen this, I'm going to go to web and choose the Spring Web. This one here will actually give us the access to create Spring MVC and um, uh, to actually create a Spring project, you know, get access to controllers, um, repository and the rest of it. 
Um, so here I'm going to choose um, SQL because we'll be using my SQL database. So I'm going to choose SQL driver. And here I'm going to choose uh, Spring Data GPA um, to give us free access to, to access to free crowd operation, right? So um, I think these are the basic um, dependencies that we need to run this project right now. So if we need more projects in the future, as we're going along, we can easily co go back to um, Maven repository to get the ones we need, right? Okay. So having done this, I'm just going to create on. I'm just going to click on create rather. So I click on create and I'm going to open it on the same window. Yeah, just open it on the same window, right? Okay, so we can see that our project has been generated, right? So I'm just going to close this down and um, so you can see we have Excel to database project generated. So I'm going to open up the source, the source file and uh, you see our uh, uh, entry point, the entry point of our application. Um, this shows the Spring Boot application, right? Spring Boot, right? So now I'm going to right click on this default package and create another package called Domain. So I'm just going to give this as Domain, right? And I'm going to cre uh, create another package called um, Service. Service. The service package and i'm going to create another one called controller actually this one is not really necessary for this demo it's just um, i just want to do it it's just a demo right um but in real life application we have to separate things like this you group um you group classes according to their functionalities according to what they do right so here i'm going to take this as repository 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 right okay so now that i've gotten all these um one two three four one two three four packages so i'm going to right click on domain and create a brand new java class called um customers so here this one is just going to be customer class straight yeah yes add it to git So, um, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So what are the attributes we need? So let's look, let's check the data we are trying to export. So now we assume that this one, this one is our default, is a customized template, right? We have the ID, the first name, the last name, the country, and the uh, contact, the mobile number or the telephone, right? So this one is uh, uh, the custom, the, the custom template, the custom Excel template where the user will enter customer information here customers information and then export to database or import to database right okay now um, we are going to go back here and so we're going to have the ID private 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 integer this one is going to be integer so we're just going to call this as customer what customer ID and we're going to have um, the customer first name so it's going to be a private as well but this one is going to be type string string first first name what's wrong with my keyboard string first name and we're going to have the last name as well um, of type string of course so this one's gonna be last name the last name and uh, we're going to have the country oh sorry this one is single s so we're going to have the country of type string as well oh sorry string uh, country and the last one here is going to be um, integer. That is the telephone, right? Telephone. Telephony. Telephone. Yeah, so these are the five attributes we need. One, two, three, four, five. So these are the five attributes we need from the customer, right? Um, right here, we're going to make use of a few um, Lombok annotation. 
annotation is to help us over um, to help us get rid of getter setters you know so for that we're going to have the at at getter at getter and we're going to have at setter as well yes at setter and we're going to have at all ag constructor and as well as no ag constructor so if you are having all ag constructor then you have to explicitly de define the non ag constructor and uh, because this this one is our table in the database we're going to tell jpa that this one is is going to serve as a table it's, a, it's an entity class that's going to serve as a table in our database right so for that we're going to specify the id which is the primary key so we're just going to specify the primary key for yeah for this okay so um this ones these are the basic things we need here to get um for the apojo uh, so the next i'm going to i'm going to go to um the services not the repository so i'm going to right click the repository package and create a new class called customer customer repository 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 Co sorry customer repository yeah and why uh, this one here is going to yeah so this one is going to extend what happened customer oh um i'm going to refactor this refactor rename this right um here yeah rename okay cool customer repository so this one is going to extend the jpa repository extend jpa jp jpa repository and um, the class is customer right we are creating this one for the customer um free crowd and the id of the customer is going to be is it's not going to be it's, it's integer it's integer right um so here we're just going to we're going to import our customer class here and what happened why is it showing red oh sorry this was supposed to be interface right yeah interface so this is all we need to do for our repository so now our repository is ready so i'm just going to close it down and also i'm going to close i'm going to close this one too uh entity class and i'm going to close this one too so now um we're going to create i'm going to go to the service class and here we're going to create a class that we actually um help us to upload the excel into our database so i'm going to call this one excel excel helper or excel upload excel upload service right excel upload service it's a class now this is the main class this is the class that is going to do the job of the of the upload so the first thing we're going to need here is to check we're going to validate the file that that the user is going to upload so we want to make sure that the file is excel is in excel format is 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 a valid excel file okay so for that we're just going to create a public static class public static boolean so we're going to use take this as a boolean right boolean um we're going to call this as is valid is valid excel file and we are going to pass in the file that we are trying to upload so it's of type multi-party we're going to have it as a multi-part file so multi-parts here sorry this is file and straight we're going to return we're just going to return return um we're going to have we're going to have this a string 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 content 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 type content type Mm. 
type this is type right so equals um or we're going to return this let's return this straight no need to declare extra variable here so we're just going to return this as objects we're going to return object dot equal equals and right here we're going to set the type the type of the the type of the of the content the type of the file the content type in here inside this method this equal method so but we're going to we'll try to validate that we're going to make sure that the the file that the user is uploading is a valid excel file so for that we're just going to have the file dot dot get content type and we're going to pass a second argument here so for this i'm just going to i'm going to get this excel format here we're just going to copy and paste this here right so now we have this and here we're going to end it here this is the end of line right so this is what this is all we just need this method to do to validate the excel file to make sure the excel is valid so um don't worry you can just uh you can if you just look at the you can check under this video um there's a link there that leads to my git repository for you to download the code so you can just get this there right so you just download the code and get all this code for free and practice with it um so right here um we're going to create another method that we actually do the work of the file upload and this one is going to be a static method as well so we're just going to have a public um public static static list so this is going to be list of customers make sure you always have it from java.ut right so this is going to be list of customers so we have list of customer right and we are going to call this like get get customers customers data get customers data from excel from excel and here we're going to pass in input stream input stream from java.io package and this one we're going to call it input stream as well i hope you can see the screen clearly so here uh, this one is the method that is actually going to do the work of the upload so having done this we're going to create a list of an uh, empty container to hold uh, the list of customers so we're going to have this list of customer so we're going to call this customers right equals new new array list new array list we'll set this to array list right here and have we done this we're going to so now we're going to get hold of the worksheet the workbook so for that we're going to have xsf xsf um, workbook workbook and we're going to call this workbook right we're going to call this workbook equals new equals new xs xsf workbook here and this one here we're going to pass in the input stream here um here what happened create type okay uh we have not gotten the dependencies for this so let's go to our pom file and add our dependencies there so we can see here that we don't have we don't have any dependencies for our uh, excel that we actually work with our to work with our excel we have not added the dependencies so we are going to add the apache pi poi right so here we just have dependency and i'm just going to type here pui here so we need this one here this we need this and it's coming from apache org.apache.io dot i was just going to leave this version the way it comes right and have done this i'm just going to reload so let's reload our project let's reload our dependencies so we can we can we can get a handle of our excel excel file right excel workbook so to speak 
so now let's go back here and uh, do the import so here we have the option to import right so now we are importing um have done this well we're gonna go back to this so let's take it let's let's take a handle let's grab let's take um let's get the sheet let's get the sheet from the workbook right so the same way this one is going to be sheet the sheet here and we're just going to call this one as sheet right equals workbook dot get sheet dot get sheet so what is the name of the sheet we're going to call it customer so that is the name of our sheet customers right so we don't need to put dot excel um this one here if you take a look at this and we open our excel here you see that that is the name of the sheet here so this is the name of the sheet we are using here you can see here right so that is the name of the sheet this is the workbook of course and this is the sheet we're using you know in excel we can have so many sheets we have different sheets maybe like customers products sales all those things but what we are interested on here the information we try want to have from the Excel to database is the customer information so we are specifying the name of the sheet as customer here so that is what we're doing here by specifying the name of this sheet to customer now have done this um quickly before we move ahead i'm just going to um, handle this exception i'm going to cache this exception so i want this one to be inside as well it should be inside here right so this one i'm just going to get the stack trace e dot get stack trace fine here and um having done this having done this so i'm going to what we need to do is to return the customer return customers return the customers here so we're returning the list of customers now let's go back here i don't want this one to have it separate separate I just want it to be yeah I just want it to be um the same line there's no point of breaking it down right so you should just stay here i'm going to remove this i'm going to remove this from here okay so i want it this way okay so now having done this we are going to we are going to um so we are going to iterate through the row the row in our sheet so this row here so we are going to iterate the row so we have remember this one here just like array right the, it starts from index 0 1 2 3 4 so on and so forth and the cell which is the row here the cells in the row we have one i'm uh, sorry 0 1 2 3 4 right but here we have five one two three four five attribute but because the index is starting from zero so we are going to we have it as zero one two three four just like same thing with the row right okay so having said this we're going to go back here and um i'm going to declare a local variable called row index of type int so have int of row row index this index i'm going to set this to zero just initialize it to zero and then we're going to iterate through the sheets through the rows all the rows in the sheets right so for that i'm just going to use the enhanced loop like the for each loop right so i'm just going to have for row i'm going to have for row in row um excuse me so we're going to iterate through the row so i'm just going to have for row in sheet we're going to iterate through the sheet right for row in sheet um let's do the import here let's import this class here so if so if row if row index if if row index of course it's going to be zero if row index equals equals zero now if the row index is zero it means that is the heading the header right but we don't want to import the header right so if this one is zero we are going to increase it by by one so if the zero they will have to increase row index by one plus plus so we just put here plus plus right and we continue 
which means we are moving the control to the next the next row for example here so if during the iteration is going to be checking the index now this one is going to be zero this is zero right and this is one this is two this is three but because we are not going to import this we are going to start from here from one right um, that is why that is why we because this one is a customized template right so that's why we are checking if this zero here if the, if the row uh, index is zero then increase it by one ignore this and go to the next one so that is what we mean by the continue the continue keyword here this one we put here right so having done this we are going to iterate the cells in the row the cells in each row right so now let's let's um, create the iterator the it so here we have iterate iterator of cell we're iterating the cell right so um sorry the generic cell right so we're just going to call this cell iterator cell iterator equals um row dot dot iterator row dot iterator right and here we're going to have we're going to check the index of the cell as well just like we're checking the index of the row so we are going to check the index of the cell so here i'm going to create another uh, variable of a type integer called cell cell index so this one is cell index right and also i'm going to initialize this to zero now having done this we are going to we're going to uh, check every cells to get the data of the cells right according to their data types so for example if we go back here we see that we have this one zero one two three and this zero here is of type integer one is of type string type string type string but this one is of type integer so that is what we're going to check so that we can set the appropriate data type and the appropriate data in our data in our entity right because we have already defined our entity class so here i'm going to say why i'm going to say why why cell why cell iterator dot has next dot has next why cell iterator that has next cell cell equals cell iterator oh no this is iterator cell iterator dot next yes equals cell iterator dot next so here we are going to we are going to switch we are going to switch the value of the cell to see if the zero we pass in so that we can pass in the appropriate data according to the data types okay so here we're going to switch switch cell index switch cell index here case case zero zero means the first one here the first cell here this is the first cell index of zero so this one is of type integer right so we are going to get the numeric value of that type zero so we're just going to have this type zero we're going to have customer customer dot dot set uh, okay sorry so we're going to have we're going to have we create an empty container here with customer 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 equals new equals new area uh, new customer <laughs> equals new customer right here now so here we have customer dot set customer id so we have cell no 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 not this cell yes cell index cell that gets um numeric value this cell here so this one we are getting numeric value and here we're going to cast it to int right we're going to cast it to type int cast it like this so here we've casting we've casted this to type int numeric so um k 
case case number one if this one that is string right one is string so here we're going to set customer dot set first name because the the, the row the, the 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 first the first cell the cell number one is first name right this one here so this one is the first name this is zero one two three four so the first name is one so here we are going to get the cell cell dot get string value right and um so i'm just going to duplicate this a couple of times sorry uh what happened okay uh, no problem so i'm just going to um uh, why is it not going Control D, yeah okay so now i'm going to change this to two two three and four so in case of two we're going to set the last name so it's going to be last name right set last last name because it's a string and in case of three we're going to set the country so this one is set set country right because it's of type string and in this in the case of this we're going to set the telephone and this one is not is not string value this one is going to be uh, get numeric value this one is numeric get numeric value here and also we're going to cast this to to integer to int right and we're just going to have the default right so default we just we just leave the default empty no predefined message yet maybe we can do that later so um now so have done this we're going to we're going to come out of we're going to come out of the switch so let's come out of the switch and and get our cell index increased so we're going to increase our cell index by one for each iteration right increase by one for each iteration and uh, after that we're going to add the, this, this customer into our customer list right the, the array list we created so for that we're going to have customers customers dot add customers dot add customer here so basically this is all we need to upload our excel to database right this is all we need to to expect to to import our excel to database so you can you can in case you don't this one might be too if if it's too complex or maybe if i don't understand if i don't explain to you clearly um you might just just go look just follow the link below this video and download go to my website to my git repository and download the code so just play with the code read the code and understand it well so you can see exactly what i'm trying to do here so now that i'm done with this so i'm going to go to i'm going to right click on the service again and i'm going to create customer service here that will actually make use of this excel helper so i'm going to call this as customer customer um, service customer service it's a class yeah and right here we're going to have the object of our of our repository of our customer repository so i'm just going to have private customer repository or customer repository and I'm just going to call it uh, the same customer repository right and now we're going to create we're going to create a method that we actually save the customer that we save the information in the excel into our database so for that we're going to have a public class uh, sorry public method right public void um, I'm going to call this one as save customers. Save customers to database. Database. Save customers to database. And this one is going to be, we're going to pass the file. We're going to pass the Excel file here. So we're going to have it as a multi part file, right? So we're just going to call this as file. 
Now, we're going to validate if this file we are uploading is a valid Excel file. Right. So for that, we're going to have, we're going to call the method we created last time here. This method we created last time to validate. We're going to call it here right now to, to check for us here. So um, we're just going to say, okay, if Excel, if Excel upload service dot is valid file, which is the file here, valid Excel file. So if the file is valid, then go ahead and and save the information in the Excel file into our database. So I'm going to have this as a list of customer again. List of customers. This one is customer here. So I'm going to call these customers because then now we are going to get the customer information from the method we create. So here we have the, the upload service dot get customers from Excel. We're going to get the customer information from the Excel file, right? I'm going to push it here. And um, so what are we going to pass through here? So we're going to have the file here, file. We're going to get the input stream from the file to get input stream, right? And I'm going to zoom it in, zoom it out a little bit so you can see everything here. And I'm going to end it here. So now I'm just going to catch, let's catch the exception. I'm going to catch it here. So surround will try a catch, right? And here I'm going to throw a new illegal exception. For example, if the file is not valid, if the file is valid, just go ahead and save and get the get the data from get the data from 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 the Excel. Then after getting the data from the Excel, then then you save save it to the database. So we have. Here we are going to make use of the customer repository. This dot customer repository dot save all. So we're going to use the save all to iterate through the Excel to save all the information. So what are we saving? The customers. So we just put it here. So having done this, I'm going to throw this as um, just for this demo purpose. I'm going to throw illegal exception, illegal argument exception. So if the file is not valid, if it's not a valid excel file is going to throw this error so we just okay the file is the file is not is not a valid excel excel file the file is not is not a valid excel file so that's what we just need so this is all we need to save to get to extract the information from our excel and save it to our database so this is all we need. And after this, I'm going to create another method that we actually to retrieve all the customers we have in the database. So for that, I'm going to create another public method. So um, this one is going to be public list of customers, right? Public list of customer. Get customers. So I'm going to get call this get customers. Get customers right it's just a simple method to to get to retrieve everything from the database so we're just going to return return customer repository dot find all find all that's all this is all we need to retrieve all the information from the database so now we are done with our service but what we're going to do here is to we're going to annotate this we are going to tell Spring that this one is a service class, so you should treat this as a bin. And also, we are going to auto-wire this. We are going to auto-wire this dependency here. So for that, I'm going to have, I'm going to auto-wire through the constructor. So I'm going to have the all arg constructor here. So this is all we need for this class. Now, having done this, we're going to create, the last one we're going to create is the controller the endpoint so that we can actually get access so here we're going to call it the customer the customer this cost customer controller is it correct customer con all right controller customer controller okay um as like every other controller, we just, we just we, we, this one here is we're going to make it um, a REST controller. So we have at REST, at REST controller, and we have as request mapping. 
So the request mapping here, we're going to define the, the path, right? So this one's just going to be slash customers. 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 So that is all we just need to do here, right? Uh, actually, we just, I think there's no need of putting this. <coughs> Excuse me. So having done this, we are going to get the object. We are going to get the object of our, of our customer service. So for this, we're going to have customer service, customer service, right? And for this, because we're going to auto wire, so I'm just going to have the at all ag constructor here. So as we can auto wire this through the constructor. Okay. So now we are going to create the for the endpoint to actually um to accept to accept the file and send to the service and the service will send to to the repository our repo and repository will send to database right okay so now we're going to have the public public um this one is going to be of type response response entity response response entity and this one is going to be of generic we're just going to put it generic because uh, okay so here we're going to call the, the name of this one as upload upload um customers upload customers data upload customers data and this one is going to be of type modified multi parts too right so we're going to request param at at request request param is going to be file here so we have the file here and this one is going to be of type multi parts multi part file and here we call it file like this and then we're just going to call this dot customer service dot save customers save customers to database and what are we saving uh, we are saving the file the excel file which is the information in the excel file so having done this we're going to return 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 response response entity dot okay dot okay oh yeah dot okay and here we're going to have the map of dot map of yeah so here we're going to have the key and the value right the key and the value so here we have message so the message that we we go back to the user after the successful upload to database so here we're just going to have customers customers data uploaded uploaded and and saved and saved to database successfully suc Success successfully, right? Is it correct? <laughs> it's not correct. So this one is um, sorry. Successfully, this one is. Uh, what am I doing? Successfully, come on. All right. So um, this is what we need here, and we're going to terminate. This is the end of line. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, zoom out a little bit so we can actually see everything we've done. Or I'm just gonna break. I'm gonna break this down, right? Break it down here, so we can actually uh, zoom it a little bit so we can see it clearly. Okay, so this is what we need to actually get the data from to, to get the file from the user. So this one we're going to annotate this as post post mapping, and we are going to give. A name as upload upload customer upload customers data right 
and this next one we're going to do is to create the endpoint that will help us retrieve all customers from the database right so here we have public sorry public response entity again we're going to have the response entity and this one is going to be the list of customers list of customer here and we are going to call this as get get customers get customers like this uh let's do the import yeah yeah from from java util okay um now we're just going to return new new response entity and here inside you're going to call the customer service dot dot get customers and the http status http status dot found so we're going to make use of the dot found right oh yeah dot found okay all right so um this is what we need to so we are done with our, our controller so now let me just quickly map this as get mapping um the http verb as get mapping so customers when we go for customers it's going to come here and retrieve everything for us so we are done with our controller so the last thing we're going to do before we, we test our application is to is to set our database property right it is in our property file so i'm just going to I'm just going to copy some some data and paste here and then explain it so here I have this here so this one here is the name of our database make sure the, the your database exists in your system right in your system so this is the port this is my um, username this is my password in my local machine and this is the driver and we set this um, DDL auto to update so that if the if the if the table doesn't exist it's going to create the table if it exists it's going to just track any every changes that are made to it and we ask this to show the sql queries and also we enable multi-part upload and we set the maximum file to accept here to 20 kg uh, kilobyte i'm uh, sorry 20 megabyte right um so basically this was everything we need to set up our api to accept uh, to be able to upload um, excel file to database all right so having done this i'm going to we are going to test run our application to see if everything if everything is fine right so for that i'm just going to hit on this play button to run our application so now our application is running so our application is running and um um yeah the application is running here so we're going to wait we're going to wait on okay we can see that our application has finished running but we have we have we got an error because i forgot to create this database so the database does not exist you see or no database so make sure this database exists in it exists in your system so here i'm just going to create go back to my to sql and create um a new schema called customer db and i'm just going to click apply apply and uh, finish so click on finish so now we have created our schema our empty schema make sure the schema exists right refresh and um here we go so here we, we got no just empty we got nothing right here just empty empty schema so now we are going to run our project again and see and see what we got so run it again so we're going to enable annotation proce process and we're going to wait let's wait okay so here we can see that our project has run successfully and uh, a table has been created in our in our database and uh, the project has started so let's go to let's go back to um, um, SQL um, SQL workbench and refresh so now we see that we have a table created called customer and let's just see what is inside 
so here we see that it's empty we have the customer id we have the country the first name the last name and the telephone but it's empty there's nothing inside right now so we are going to test this by going to postman here um so this one here this is the endpoint i have already um put here already so i'm just going to um, fire the request to see if we have something there in the database so we can see that we have um, nothing in the database nothing in the database so it's empty so now let's um, let's import let's import the excel file so i'm just going to copy the endpoint here uh, what is it yeah here so i'm just going to copy this and uh, and paste it here so i just just gonna paste this here and now let's change this to post this is post and let's go to body and um, the file and the type of this is file right so this is the key the key is file so this key here is what we set here last time right this one uh, where is the controller yeah this one here this one here so this is the key we are setting here in postman here and the type is file so now i'm going to select i'm going to go to where i store this excel and here this is the excel file customer data right here customer data so that is the name of the excel file here you see customer data here so now i'm going to send the request and see what happens um method not allowed method not allowed what happened method not allowed post um okay what what happened so let's check so you have customers who have this and it's post request right at post request um, method not allowed why is the method not allowed so let's see let's go to our console and see what is there let's look at the error what was the message there's no message here method post not supported oh, really what could have happened Mm. customers post but this one is post method post not supported okay i'm going to find out what happened okay um method not allowed um so here i'm just going to do this again and put the correct um, endpoint url and we are going to change this to post here so this one is the url is the endpoint we set here right that is the endpoint we set here customers slash upload this here so let's fire this let's fire the request and see what we have um before then here the body we go to form data and let's put the key and let's have the data type this file and let's select the excel file select it again so this is where i save my excel file so i'm going to send this request so here we have okay 200 okay customers data uploaded and saved to database successfully so that is the message we set here right customers data uploaded and saved to database successfully so which means the, the, the operation is, is, is success, successful, right? So let's go to our database and refresh. You see, so here we have all the, data, all the data we have in the Excel file. We have from 1 to 20, right? From 1 to 20. Sarah Jumia from Morocco is the last, is the last person in our database. You see, Sarah Jumia moved from Morocco. Then the first person in our database is uh, James uh, Judith from England. So let's check our Excel. James Judith from England. So this is 
So now we are able to to import to upload our customers' information from Excel to our SQL database, right? And this brings us to the conclusion of this little demo. And this brings us to the conclusion of this um, little demo. So um, please, thank you. I want to say thank you uh, for being around and uh, for staying to the end of this demo. I'm um, so sorry for being so slow. Um, thank you so much for coming. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like my videos. And also please help me to share and uh, introduce my channel to your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've not done that. Please help me subscribe and like my videos. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, please, from the description below, from the, the link, there's a link below this video where you can get the download. So follow the link and download this, this the whole of this project from my Git repository for your practice, okay? Thank you so much. In case you've not watched the first one we did, that we the, there's the first video we did, um, which we, we import, we export data from database to Excel. The link also is below, is down below this video. So follow that link to watch that video as well. Thank you so much for watching and hoping to see you in our next um, demo. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Goodbye.